uh, news you can use. One of the things we always talk a lot about the pandemic and the economy and things like that. But there's there's another factor in housing that we don't typically uh, look at, and what we need to right now, and it's the cost of lumber. Um, lumber has grown explosively in cost. Now, there's due to two things. Number one, uh, because of the general economy uh, and the uh, I don't want to blame the current administration, but I will blame the current administration. They've made it almost impossible to log. And so even though we have abundant natural wood resources in our country, it's almost impossible to log them anymore. Uh, and it's not just the current administration. It's happened for a number of years, but uh, environmental regulations have made it darn near impossible to log our own wood. And so we have to go to the Canadians to get our wood primarily. Uh, new construction has been slow to come to the rescue of the, the dramatic need in the housing market. Um, and one of the reasons is because lumber is so expensive right now, it's gone up so much that, uh, you know, we can't, uh, a lot of these new home buyers can't, or no new home builders can't afford to continue to increase their lumber costs and still be profitable. They have to continually raise prices we always think that the price raising is due to the fact that the feds kept the interest rate low, but it also has to do with pure plain old uh, inflation. And the problem um, is because we're getting our lumber from Canada, we're subject to whatever they've got going on. And the biggest problem they've got going on right now is their forests are getting infected with a beetle species that is killing off the lumber. So in basically 11 months, the cost to build a new home for an average home builder in the U.S. Now, this counts from California to East Overshoe, Iowa, uh, has gone up $24,000 just because of lumber alone. The cost of lumber has increased fourfold in an 11-month period of time. It's expected to double again. In other words, a year from now, it could be as much as eight times higher than it was a year ago. Um, it's going to be very, very difficult to build houses with that kind of increase, um, you know, that kind of inflation. And we're going to have to be looking at other materials if we don't want to allow us to use our own uh, lumber, you know, U.S. grown lumber, which, like I said, we have abundant amounts of it. Uh, we're just not allowed to log it, farm it, whatever you want to call. So that's going to affect your business out there in that it's going to create more demand for older houses, properties that have already been built that are on the market, that type of thing. There's going to be, once again, a diminished supply and a high demand. That demand is going to have to pay a much higher price. So something to look at, uh, look forward, uh, look forward to um, in this business, it's going to increase pricing pressure upwards on existing homes, uh, as will the, the fact that we continue to have low interest rates. Now on the interest rate front, we've had our fifth increase since the end of January um, in the Fed rates. And so far, uh, can you guys hear me? Or am I just, am I off? No, we can hear you, Jeff. Okay, all right, Alice said no sound, so I assume she, meant she couldn't hear me. Sorry about that. Um, interest rates are also increasing and that's gonna create a higher cost to buy a house and um, it's gonna be more expensive to continue to make payments. So uh, look for, in, in the short run, we're gonna be looking for upward pressures. Uh, there's gonna be a real dichotomy in the market out there. There's going to be pressures for upward pricing, but there's also going to be some downward effects because of the amount of foreclosures that are gonna be happening. So. It's a, a real interesting time. We have both inflation and deflation uh, at the same time. It's happened before in this economy, but it's pretty rare. So uh, we'll see what uh, time brings.